like putting a mentorship business program together and help other moms do what you do? So I think, first of all, when they mean what you make for this, mean the concierge part of business, mm -hmm. right? So I think it's really important for them to say that that's how I got started, but that is not how the majority of our money is made. And I always hear people talking about being baby planners and you know, attorney concierge, they're like, it is not a good business model. It right. is mm -hmm. a very cool one to start to get to know a lot of doctors and nurses and doulas and midwives and to meet people in the community and to get your own expertise, but you are never going to be able to scale that. Did yeah, you meet it. Zenerations of Boca that are here? Yes, I Okay, because yeah. she started a concierge business as well and led to her. Something else. Right. And so then she has a babysitting at her place yes. while you get right. treatments, which is a no-brainer. Yeah. So if she's going to do it, I think it's a great place to start to learn just about, you know, what's important to moms and meet moms and, as I said, meet these great experts in the community, but then you have to spend it in something else. Okay, the next question to follow up, so yeah. she knew you were going to say that. Are you interested in making our community one of your new markets to come into? Um, well, yeah, always interested. But the undertaking of us opening, because now we do stores and uh, prenatal postpartum studios, so that way we can see a lot more people, because I'm taught by not, you know, doctors and nurses that people that we approve. Um, it's colossally expensive. So we have to choose the most dense populations and dense markets, and Florida is on the list, but it's nowhere near the top of the list. And we get that information from the like, online sales and social media and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, so where I would love place? to, but where it's do you have, you have now in California and in New York? Uh, we have two in California. Sorry, two in New York, one in California, right. and then we're in different wholesale boutiques. But a lot of our business is online, and then we can sort of see where it is. Um, Atlanta, Chicago, San Francisco, uh, Boston. They're like the next. So you're talking guys. about your maternity clothes. Right, all our maternity stores though uh, turn into studios. Right. When the store, the way we obviously model works is when the store hours are over, we still want that store to be generating money. Right. Um, so it turns into a studio. So all of our, the way our stores are designed, like the rack disappear, it becomes like a studio. Which is a great model. Yeah, so we can have people in there before and after yes. hours. And so what are you doing in, during your studio? What is, what is it? Oh, we teach everything. like. You know, baby CPR, pre oh, okay. postpartum education. Classes. Classes. So, in, classes. in terms yeah. of your maternity, this is concierge. Part, part no, of in terms of your maternity clothes, like the clothes, oh, yeah. you do most of your sales online. Um, I would say about equal to so online and distributed mm -hmm. around the place. Okay. So, yeah. is that what mostly what you're focusing on now? We're actually launching baby clothes next year. So, we 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 want to stay in maternity. It's a really great place to be, yep. but our like main focus is growing as the mom grows, mm -hmm. and that really means like moving into baby and yeah. beyond. So, yeah. I've noticed like so many maternity stores closing like all the motherhood yes. maternities in the area are gone mm -hmm. like yeah. there's and then they're moving to Macy's to be under their yeah. roof and I think today I mean just even and you can't use years, coupons there e-commerce it's all <laughs> right. moving online mm -hmm. is you know when you're pregnant I mean when you're not pregnant I was shuffle and I was so busy but when you're pregnant People are a different mindset I think a few years ago they'd be like you can't possibly buy maternity clothes online now we buy everything online we're so used to it but I also think where uh, maternity clothes have come so far, right. you can now get them at Zara and ASOS. And like, mm -hmm. Brands are like getting it, the notion that yeah. people yeah. want maternity clothes too. So a lot more yeah. places we normally shop are providing for us. Right. And before, they were only a few places. They're so, only like, and they were yeah. not cute. They were not cute. No, right. yeah. oh and I God. think now the standard has been raised so much. Of course, yeah. there's still some um, cute maternity clothes. But there are some mm -hmm. cute regular maternity right. clothes. Right. But right. by and large, I think the industry has got a lot better, but also more competitive. So right. I just don't think that it's the same. And online, you know. So Yeah. And our like policies now return policies for everybody, you know. Yeah. But it's Amazon or whatever, it's like free overnight. Right. So who cares? It's like all of its clothes. Right. Like I saw a company lately doing um